Good afternoon everyone and welcome in once again to the FIFA E-Nations Plains 2023. This is match week one, game day two. Yesterday a lot of you all were with us when we had an absolutely amazing day one. Six games played in total out of which India won four and went on to draw two to finish the day as group toppers. That's division one toppers. We'll have six more games today as you all know as we promised. The same games again but either on an away server or on the home server or on a neutral server based on the games decided for the day. We're going to be showing you all the details about yesterday. We're going to be talking about all the details about today. So make sure you're tuned with us in case you missed out on any of yesterday's action. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitch as well. My name is Selvin Seth Mayor and I'll be with you throughout this day once again, just like yesterday. And I hope to see the same love and the same support in the chat just like we had yesterday. Without wasting any further time, let's just watch how the tournament works and the explainer video for this tournament. Welcome to the FIFA E-Nation Series 2023, where nations from all over the world come together and compete for a spot at the FIFA E-Nations Cup, the pinnacle event for national teams. Here is everything you need to know before the season kicks off. Nations from all over the world will participate in the FIFA E-Nation Series 2023. These nations will be split into five different zones for qualification. The FIFA E-Nation Series begins with the FIFA E-Nations 2023 Play-Ins. All participating member associations from the 2022 season are invited to take part in the Play-Ins. Top nations from this stage will qualify for the playoffs, the final stage before the FIFA E-Nations Cup. Those that don't make it through to the playoffs move on to the FIFA E-Nations Online Qualifiers 2023. Here they'll compete against other nations participating for the first time in the FIFA E-Nations series for the remaining spots in the FIFA E-Nations playoffs. The FIFA E-Nations playoffs are played within their respective zones. Teams will compete for the 23 spots to qualify for the FIFA E-Nations Cup, where they'll join the host nation. The FIFA E-Nations Cup takes place in the summer of 2023, where 24 nations compete for national pride and the chance to become the number one national team in the world. Follow all the action on FIFA.gg. So here we go with the, the lineup for today's day. Korea Republic versus Team India is the first game. I'm also getting an update that both teams are almost ready to get in the game. And yesterday, of course, India won 3-1 against Korea Republic on a neutral Singapore server. After that, we have India versus Hong Kong, Singapore versus India, which is going to be the match of the day. Indonesia versus India, India versus Japan and India versus Malaysia to finish things off once again. Let's quickly take a look at the squad that Team India is going to be using uh, for today. I'm also going to explain how exactly the squads work with regards to the players that have been chosen before we get into the game. Uh, just to let you guys know, we have key players, we have drafted players and we have open pool players. And we are going to be going into the squads very soon. But in the meanwhile, you can drop in your predictions for the game between Korea Republic and India for all the games if you want. Yesterday, it was Team Korea Republic 1, Team India 3 in possibly a very great game that started in the best possible way for Team India. We scored the goal. We conceded the equaliser, but then we went ahead and scored two goals as well. It's going to be something very epic for sure. And here is the squad once again. The key players, of course, are those teams who chose these players before the draft procedure. And a lot of people, like, you know, different teams can have these players with them. Ronaldo, Rude Hullet and Kylian Mbappe are the ones for Team India. Now, drafted players are drafted during the draft procedure and they are exclusively only with Team India right now because they have been drafted to Team India. Yuan Cruyff, Christopher Nkunku, Virgil van Dijk and Yuan Capdevia, all these four were standout performers yesterday. And open pool players, of course, the remaining ones after the key and the draft procedure. And they can be available for multiple teams as you would have seen yesterday. A lot of uh, talent out there. Just to let you know, this is with regards to the FIFA Ultimate Team cards. Different versions of different players and that's how it works for Team India and they have been choosing these players based on their play styles. As you would have seen yesterday, they had a 4-4-2 formation, a 5-3-2 formation and some attacking and defensive game plans. And as for them, these are the best players to suit their play styles with regards to their positioning and with regards to their 
attacking and defensive instructions that they put on these players. I am going to be checking your chats as well while the stream goes on. And we are going to be needing all the energy in the world, all the enthusiasm and all the positivity in the world with Team India. I am getting a news that it's going to be Charanjot and Saranj who will be playing once again for Team India today. And it's going to be possibly one of the greatest uh, things. And here we go with the squad for Team Korea right now. Now They have Ronaldo, Rude Hullet and Pele as their key players. Uh, and their drafted players include Yaya Toure, Jazinho, Ivan Cardoba and Tomori from England. And open pool players, of course, are very similar to Team India's. But uh, you can look at the list out there. We have uh, Ronaldinho as a standout man, along with Garincha out there. Also, Roberto Carlos is there for them. And Danny Alves, of course, uh, one of the all-time greats, the highest uh, trophy winner when it comes to collecting trophies in, in, I mean, in the world of football. Edwin van der Sar is there too. They have a lot of world champions in Marcel Desailly. There are also some new faces in Jude Bellingham. They also have Rafael Liao as the new face, Theo Hernandez, of course, Alfonso Davies and much more. So that's a very great squad as well. Depends on what 11 they choose on the first thing. But they'll for sure have the key players and they'll for sure have the drafted players in their starting 11. And they have a choice to choose four players from the open pool players, including one goalkeeper, which ideally would be Edwin Van der Sar for sure. Now, these were yesterday's results, as you can see on your screen once again. India 3, Korea Republic 1, Hong Kong 1, India 4, India 4, Singapore 4 in possibly the game of the day. India 1, Indonesia 1, a loss that, I mean, a draw that may hurt India a little considering that uh, they could have beaten Indonesia easily. Japan 2, India 3 and Malaysia 1, India 2. But as things stand uh, after day 1, India headed the group, which is the Division 1, of course. And just to explain how this works just before the game starts, there are going to be three match weeks consisting of two days each, wherein we'll be playing six games each, just like we played yesterday. After these three game weeks, after these three match weeks, I'm sorry, uh, there'll be one team which will be at the top of Division 1. That team will qualify for the playoffs. And the second team that will qualify will be qualified based on consistency points. I'll explain more about that once we are done or once we are about to end the day, because that's when it will make more sense. But right now, our focus is going to be to finish top of Division 1 after match week 1. The bottom three teams from Division 1 will be relegated to Division 2 after every match week. And the top three teams from Division 2 will make it to Division 1 for match week 2, based on how things go in match week 1. Now, I'm getting an update for Team Korea and Team India that the match is going to be on a neutral server. That's going to be a Singapore server, just like yesterday. So, it's not an advantage for Team India. It's not an advantage for Team Korea. Both of us play with this neutral uh, server, as we call it. And uh, there's a small replacement. It's going to be Seri and Doc Doc playing for Team South Korea this time. Yesterday, Seri did not play, but Doc Doc did play. And it was a good game overall. But Team India, of course, knew what their game plan was and absolutely went behind Team Korea. We're still waiting for the game to start, actually. Uh, the players are still in the lobby. You all can continue telling me about your predictions in the chat. And you all can continue sending the blue hearts for Team India. You all can continue spamming the Indian flag in the chat as well. We're going to be having a great day. Let's just go on to the coming up screen, which shows the next game for the day. I will be updating you based on when the match starts. In the meanwhile, I'm going to read your chats. We need your support. We need the energy. Let's do this Team India. We will be back as soon as this game starts.
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर पेशेंस एवरीबॉडी वी आर विद द किक ऑफ बिटवीन टीम कोरिया रिपब्लिक एंड टीम इंडिया टीम इंडिया इज प्लेइंग इन द रेड बायन म्यूनिक किट एंड टीम कोरिया रिपब्लिक इज प्लेइंग इन द ब्लैक किट राइट नाउ दिस इज अ फर्स्ट डे विद रिगार्ड्स टू फर्स्ट गेम विद रिगार्ड्स टू डे 2 एंड हियर गोस टीम कोरिया राइट अवे ऑफ द अटैक एंड पेले एंड डोनर मो मेकिंग अ बिग सेव फॉर टीम इंडिया Uh, just to let you guys know, I've been reading the chats. I saw a lot of comments. This is the road to the FIFA E Nations finale, which is similar to the World Cup concept, wherein every player represents their country, and we will be uh, representing India at uh, the E Nations, as we call it. This is just the first step of the event. Of course, we're still very early into the season, but here goes Team Korea once again, stealing the ball away from Team India. And uh, our knight has been dispossessed by Rud Hulit, who does not want to lose the ball. For everybody who wishes to be a part uh, of the Team India squad or wishes to be a competitive FIFA player, you can follow Team India. But before that, here is a big chance for Team India. Yes, you can follow Team India, of course, on Instagram Indian Football to get more updates about the qualifiers, to get more updates about these tournaments that Team India has right now. It is a two versus two format. We have nine total players in the squad for Team India. Out of which uh, two of the E Tigers are going to be playing today: Charan Jodh Singh and Saran Jain. And Sir Chandrana and Saksham Ratan are a part of today's squad as well. But right now, the focus is on the game between Team Korea Republic. Of course, they were the ones who did score a goal against India, but India scored three against them yesterday, which is going to be a huge mentality. Uh, monster thing as we call like you know with regards to playing against an opponent that almost destroyed you yesterday they have made a change to their lineup and there we go team korea looking very dangerous right from the start of this game compared to what they were looking like yesterday but right now team india has the ball and they the ones who will be looking uh, to attack and to create something with the ball but they're not able to keep possession for a very long time if you could have noticed that's what they wanted to do they wanted to be a little slow they wanted to take their time keep the ball deprive uh, korea republic of the ball and then go ahead to do some damage here goes yuan cap to be one of the stand out players from yesterday big cut back to pro and a big chance which hits the post and goes out that's not a goal unfortunately for team india it stays it stays at 0-0 but a big chance out there and something the team india are going to take going further in this game for sure we are going to be also showing you the tables and the updated results after every game that are played and updated out here and this is another attack incoming from team india valverde from the right side right now team india playing a 5-3-2 formation and here goes r9 who got it luckily mbappe gets the ball again and unfortunately cannot do a lot because of his body position and body balance ball now back with team korea who are playing with fire out here by trying to dribble with their defenders against a high quality pressing team which is of course team india who have shown yesterday that they are ready to compete at the highest of stages and they are the leaders of the region right now as per day 1 at the end of the asia oceana playoffs uh, play in some sorry here goes kelin mbappe running in at militao but militao this time could easily cut him down and gets the ball back for south korea who are now trying to do something in order to get the lead in this game but team india of course have made a comeback strongly into this game with regards to asserting dominance because for the last 15 in game minutes it has been all team india and uh, once they are in the mood of course they are very 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 difficult to stop as korea would have experienced yesterday which is why they've had a change in personnel there with regards to a different squad player playing in for them today and here they go trying to see if they can find something and attack team india from the right hand side but team india of course have their answers with yuan captivia and r9 defending out there and here goes yuan croif had a chance in that opening in those opening 20 minutes which hit the post here goes captivia plays it to mbappe the man in form can he do something for team india he can do something for team india he absolutely rips apart that korean defense and rips apart that net 
to make it 1-0 to Team India with 35 in-game minutes played. What a chance, what a goal, what a start to day two and what a way to kick things off for Team India. Big, big, big moment in the game. A momentum shift now towards Team India who need to make this count. Yesterday, they waited for more than a half to get the first goal and then conceded as soon as they got the first goal. Let's hope for a different story today. Let's hope that they build on this lead and continue from here throughout the entire day, of course. And there goes Pele with a big chance. I think that's offside. It is offside indeed. And that's a big relief, of course, for Team India, who now have the ball back. Van Dijk places out wide to Valverde. Here goes Hullet. Cruyff. South Korea now with the ball once again, looking for some answers against Team India and their defenders. If you notice, uh, after every game, Team India was watching highlights to see what went wrong whenever they conceded a goal. And I'm sure up till this point, they've been just working on the same. They know how important it is to not let your opponent score because of your mistake. And that's one thing that these guys always do. As I was saying yesterday, they don't just let their mistakes be repeated. And here goes Team Korea, of course, who are now trying to make sure that they learn from their mistakes as well. And that's a beautiful through ball in towards Ronaldinho, who cannot find Pele at that far post. Finds Edo Militao, who finds the outside of the field to make sure that the game goes into the end of the first half. After 45 minutes, the first half of this game, it's Korea Republic 0, India 1. We will be back with the second half very soon. And here we go with the start of the second half. It's Team India now with the ball who will be looking to capitalise on that one goal lead because as you know, a one goal lead is never enough. Yesterday, of course, Team India almost feeling the heat when they played Japan. They were 3-0 up and suddenly Japan scored two goals in two minutes to make it 3-2. But then Team India showed their composure and class to hold on to the lead just like they did against Malaysia and against Hong Kong and Korea Republic yesterday. But yesterday is now in the past and today is what we are focusing at and Team India. Ronaldo in the box trying to find somebody and Cruyff somehow gets the ball back thanks to some excellent positioning skills and excellent uh, press by these players who are playing with their controllers using these ultimate cards. Here goes Mbappe, scored the first goal almost inside out. That defender out there in Korea Republic would have been furious at that being conceded. But here goes Ronaldinho. Wearing number two, of course, not something that you must be used to seeing him wear. But, uh, and Desailly has given the ball away to Kylian Mbappe, who now has some options, chooses to go behind to Virgil van Dijk. Right option for sure. Pull it now, making the pitch as big as possible by stretching it out wide to the other side. And now the ball is back in the centre. Is there an option to rip apart that Korea defence once again? Looking at the number of bodies that they have inside the box, it looks difficult. But... Uh, I'm sure Team India loves to take on difficult challenges and difficult tasks. And right now, here's Bullet, who's doing the entire work rate. He's putting in a shift for Team India. Here goes Valverde and Hullet for Team Korea again intercepting. This guy and his card, of course, insane. But here goes Ian Cruyff, wins the ball back. And there's that going to be a foul. It's not a foul, but the ball is still with Team India. Cruyff with the ball. Is he going to take a shot? Tries to run at the defenders, wins the ball back once again and tries to find Mbappe or R9. Good passage of play there. Some nervous moments N need to show that composure under pressure. But right now, look at Team Korea struggling to get the ball away from Team India. They finally get it away at the cost of a free kick, which Team India are now going to take. I do not know if that's going to be direct or indirect. The answer is indirect and that's not the way they would have planned because the execution 
has uh, let them down and here go team korea who had a chance to counter but they played the ball back which means team india now have enough number of people enough number of uh, people behind their attackers and don ruma is going to connect that collect that comfortably korea now queuing a pause knowing how important it is to put some pressure on india who look to be very comfortable right now with regards to keeping the ball and with regards to attacking because they have come with a game plan and that has worked to perfection for now and team india of course uh, would be prepared for a counter plan in case they have to face an all out attacking team just like they did yesterday here goes cap de villa now has options inside the box oh my goodness made in here is kylian mbappe still with the ball and it's not going the way they would have uh, planned with regards to their attacks but it's still going the way they would have thought it should go because the ball landing to the attackers feet in the most unlikely way with regards to deflections with regards to dummy moves with regards to miss clearances and anything would do and that's another example i do not know if this is the server or if there is some delay while they play but uh, things do not look uh, in Korea's favor for now, but that can all change because they're in the box now. Here's Rude Hulet can take a shot, will take a shot, and what a finish that is from a very, very, very narrow angle. Out of all people, you would not have expected Rude Hulet to score a goal from that angle against Donnarumma, but in a game of FIFA, everything is possible, and what that means is going into the last 15 in-game minutes, a little over 15, of course. Uh, it's India one and Korea Republic one with India needing a goal to make sure that they win this game and uh, I mean they've deserved it for sure considering that most of the football most of the FIFA has been played by Team India but let's see what are the changes that will be made let's uh, just wait for the tactics to be discussed and to be you know analyzed both these players of course the E-Tiger, Sharan Jot Singh and Saranj will be analyzing what went wrong but we still need your support make sure you continue supporting Team India in the chat and uh, we'll be back once uh, these guys go ahead with the game. And here we go again. The changes have been made. The players have been replaced and swapped. We'll get an update on which player is in now. Alfonso Davies is going to be one of them. He is here for Team India, of course. Valverde retains his position because in case Team India goes 4-4-2, Valverde becomes the midfielder. Here's Virgil van Dijk and Rude Hullet, of course, who will be looking to provide an answer in attack for Team India as well. Alfonso Davies, one of the most fastest players in FIFA and also in real life. Would be looking to add some pace to this attack by supporting Team India with those uh, wide runs. But here's Rude Hullet, the man who scored the goal, is now winning ball back for Team Korea Republic. Cristiano Ronaldo is on the field as well for Team India, which means Johan Cruyff is now being uh, substituted. And here goes R9 for Korea Republic. Has an option. Rafael Liao is in for them. Hullet. Plays it to Yaya Toure. Plays it back all the way to Ashraf Hakimi. Who switches it all the way to Theo Hernandez. Beautiful ball inside the box. And that is going to be well defended by Team India. A moment of scare. A second of scare is what I can say. When the ball landed towards Pele. And to his attacking ability. You know how good the man is when it comes to taking a shot and scoring out of nowhere but right now team korea republic with momentum on their side are looking like the dangerous side to get the next goal if there is a next goal in this game team india need a response as early as they can they hardly have time team korea will not let them have the ball so easily the ones who need that last attack but team india have all the ability in the world to get the ball back from them they have to go back to the keeper because that's the only option. Considering that Team India is putting some pressure on them with regards to this constant pressure that is being applied. But Team India now three looking to get the ball away. And that's going to be one last chance that's going to fall in 
and unfortunately for us is going to fall in towards team korea who take the ball towards van dyke and if there is another chance it's going to fall to korea but that's going to be the end of the game and agonizingly it's going to be a draw for team india against korea republic not something that we would have uh, thought of seeing but here is the chance that let us down a little is what i can say because team india could not capitalize on that early shot by johan cruyff who hit the post as you can see here but still a long day to go still five more games left to be played korea republic was the first game so in total we've taken four points from korea republic with a win and a draw but this is a league format 90 minutes is all we get when it comes to uh, this format but we still have five more games left at the end of the first game of day two of match week one of the pipa e nations plains 2023 it is uh, korea republic one india one which means india are now going to be on 15 points uh, and depending on what happens with the singapore game and what happens with the malaysia and japan game we will be having more update on how that changes the table still a long way to go still a lot of optimistic things for us to be happy about uh, it's going to be a big day for sure considering that team india would have wanted to win this one but it's india one korea republic one at the end of the first game the next game is going to be starting in the next 10 minutes it's going to be hong kong versus team india which is going to be up next and we are going to be back very soon once the game starts and uh, we will see you in the next 10 minutes. Do not go anywhere. Stay tuned and we'll see you on the other side.
Thank you so much for your pins and fun. We are directly heading in to the game. Thank you so much once again for your patience. Everybody, we're directly heading into the game between India and Hong Kong. A little early with regards to the kickoff time. But uh, because the players were ready, we decided to start the game early. India again playing in the red kit. It's Hong Kong who's playing in the black kit. Yesterday, we won 4 1. But uh, this is a new day once again. Again, on the neutral servers is what we are playing. India playing in the red kit. For Hong Kong this time, we have Long underscore YSL and Man Lung Yao, the same players who represented them yesterday. And for India, we have Charanjot Singh and Saranjit, the same players that represented us yesterday. We still have Saksham Ratan and Sid Chandrana with the, the squad for today. And these guys, of course, can make an appearance based on how things go in the latter half of the day. But right now, it is Team India who are looking to break through. And that is a good attempt to find Kylian Mbappe out there. Who scored a brilliant first goal at the start of the game one that we had. We're going to be showing you the updated results and the updated points table as well. But right now, it's a pause that has been queued by Team Hong Kong, knowing that they may need to make some changes or maybe just uh, to break uh, the momentum of Team India who started this game very brightly because the ball is still with Team India with regards to playing attacking football. The ball is still with them. Again, on the neutral server, and uh, we will be showing... Uh, you some more details at halftime since we could not really show you anything as there was an early kickoff. We'll try and show you the points table at halftime along with the, the results from the other matches in Division 1. We're playing right now on the Singapore server and the match is underway now. Team India with the ball once again. Hong Kong knowing that this is going to be a little difficult for them. If Team India continue this way. But Team India of course they know they have to convert their chances. Or it can come back to haunt them just like it did against uh, Team Korea Republic in the last game. Despite of dominating it, they could only convert one chance. And uh, Team Korea Republic, who had a chance, converted it and made sure that they punished Team India. And Hong Kong right now would be looking to do the same. But Team India is all ready and all set to take on whatever happens. And here goes Cantona. That's a big block by Team India. Hakimi is the one who's playing this game for Team India once again. And Virgil van Dijk plays it to Militao, plays it to Rude Hullet. And Kuku in the centre has the option for Johan Cruyff who plays it to R9. The ball now goes out wide to Cap de Villa. Tried to find Hullet but that's well defended by Hong Kong and by Valverde. Who now stretches the ball out to the left side by playing it to Roberto Carlos. One more wing swap by playing it to Philipp Lahm, the legend from Germany. The man who had no red cards throughout his playing days and very less yellow cards as well. An absolute example of a leader and a fair play player. But here goes uh, Team Hong Kong trying to find a way through that Indian defence who looks, which looks to be absolutely ready to take whatever comes their way. Sanchez plays it to Valverde. Philip Lam once again from the right hand side plays across it. That's a brilliant ball and that's a brilliant goal because that uh, could not be avoided with regards to a clearance. Every team Indian player, of course, was in the air trying to see if they could clear that ball or get their head on it. But Cantona, who made the late run, getting the ball and making the difference with a first time volley. Which now means that India have to come back from one goal down, just like they've been doing throughout their E-Nations journey for 2021 and 2022. This is the next season that we have. And uh, right now, India 
have not had the ideal start to their day compared to how it was yesterday and they would be looking for some answers they would be looking to see what's going wrong in this case for them but it's still a long way to go with regards to this game there are still 75 in game minutes left which can produce a lot of goals and team india do not want to wait for those 75 minutes here's you and croif trying to get into the box and park ji sung now with the ball with the same skill moves to go away from the attackers who are desperately trying to press team korea republic oh sorry team hong kong and to win the ball back the team hong kong showing their experience keeping the ball with them making the pitch as big as possible and now from defense to attack with the few through balls and few passes they are suddenly in on the act and that's good pressure punishing team hong kong republic for uh, hong kong for taking a lot of time out there on the ball and ronaldo now with the ball for team india pull it plays it to mbappe plays it out by to cap divia has options inside and outside the box chooses to go to possibly the most strangest of options by switching the flank all over to hakimi i think that was a miss pass but the ball was still with team india which is not the case now because park ji sung has the ball plays it to roberto carlos who switches it out by to philip lam once again hong kong strategy is clear they want to make this pitch as big as possible they do not want multiple men pressing them in the center just like it happened yesterday they've done their homework pretty well but what they've not done pretty well is playing that pass in the center of the field which uh, is now which means that ball is now with team india who have the ball but cannot do a lot with it considering that hong kong are playing deep philip lam with the ball almost losing it out but still managing to find a way through to lead jj okocha who played the ball now to cristiano ronaldo okocha valverde takes a shot virgil van dijk is gonna collect those shots with his chest all day considering how easy he made it look but here goes valverde for team india just to let you guys know this is the ultimate team format but we have key players open players and drafted players which can be chosen by every team and that's the reason why both these teams have some similar players have some not so famous players and have some common players as well and right now roberto carlos dispossessing team india playing it to park ji sung the legend of course for the asian football community when it comes to real football played for manchester united played for many big clubs and also won some great trophies here goes team india now once again valverde captivia mbappe losing the ball out to philip lam and that's going to be a that's going to be the end of the first half and we're going to be showing you the points table just in a minute but before that at the end of the first half it is fifa e india 0 fifa e hong kong 1 courtesy that eric cantona volley and in the meanwhile this is the points table calculated from yesterday singapore have won their first game which means they now lead the group 17 points is what they have after seven games india with 15 points after seven games malaysia with 13 points after seven games in indonesia japan korea republic hong kong not having the best of the tournaments and just to let you guys know that bottom 3 of course who will be relegated to division 2 this what you see on your screen right now is division 1 and as things stand india are second and it's not going to change with the score line as we can see and the fixtures for the day the game one is already played india 1 korea republic 1 if you've just joined us India versus Hong Kong is going on the next match is going to be at 4 pm Singapore which means we will be having a big break after this one uh we still have to play Singapore which is going to be the table deciding game and we are now ready for the kick off for second half hoping to see some goals from team India at least two goals is what they need to make sure that they regain their position at the top of the table or to challenge team Singapore before their game kicks off You and Cap De Villa loses the ball out to Philip Lam. We've heard that multiple times in this day, and that is a brilliant pass on the edge of that line, not allowing any space whatsoever. And Team India now know that it's now or never with regards to this game. They know how important the result is with regards to momentum, with regards to the table, and with regards to getting into the next game with. Uh, 
possibly the team that are favorites to top the table along with team india that's singapore but hong kong right now at the bottom of the table playing like absolute champions hullet plays it to mbappe plays it to nkunku is this the opportunity for team india to get that goal back while verde loses the ball out to cantona showed him too much of the ball and now hong kong trying to attack from the right wing as they've done throughout the first half cristiano ronaldo beautifully played through ball towards cantona who took an extra touch or maybe got the ball a little later as that would have been a clear shot on target which was then blocked eventually by team india and now india know that it's time to make a lot of changes with regards to players with regards to formation with regards to game plans with regards to instructions and to go all out and to get something from this game if not a victory team hong kong of course have other ideas they will not let india get that get those three points or even get a point from this one so easily and your go team india in search of the equalizer for now ronaldo croif hakimi r9 once again rude hullet plays it to valverde rude hullet can he take a shot from your valverde mbappe that's not enough space out there to do anything and right now team india trying everything that they've been preparing for but just not able to find a way through this hong kong defense who have now got around 27 in game minutes to hold on to this lead and india have around 27 in game minutes to turn things around which they desperately want to but we still need to see your support we still need to see your love for team india we need that energy in the chat supporting team india it's going to be a mountain to climb right now and of course this is not the end of the road regardless of what happens at the end of the day we still have three more match weeks still a long long time to go with regards to qualifying for the playoffs and we are going to be seeing what happens in the game now as the game restarts once again after the pause substitutions have been made changes have been made and that is a good tackle by mbappe but can only win only get a goal kick for that and nothing else van der sar for hong kong militao right now on the ball not making any unnecessary pass waiting and sometimes that can be risky team india can they capitalize on this mistake almost inside the box look at the pressure applied crow of course for the shot gets the goal i knew it as soon as he got the ball if you're not brave enough you are going to be punished and team india have the warriors who can punish everyone on their day hong kong tried to play it smart but team india one step ahead making sure they made something out of nothing and now there are going to be a lot of changes to both their game plans 1-1 with 23 in game minutes left what a change four in game minutes of course can do amazing stuff let's just wait to see what changes these guys do and let's just wait to see what happens in this game now team hong kong of course with the restart what a game this is turning out to be everybody we needed that goal by team india we got the goal and now hong kong what are they going to do in this one they know they have to go for the win because they are right now bottom of the table and the bottom 3 teams from division 1 at the end of the day will be relegated to division 2 and a draw is not going to help either of these teams of course team india aiming to be top of the table hong kong aiming to be out of the relegation zone Yes, Rafael Leao plays another cross towards Cristiano Ronaldo, possibly the tallest man in that penalty box right now. Valverde, Park Ji Sung still on the field. Hong Kong taking their time. Alfonso Davies is going to run at Alfonso Davies, and here goes Park Ji Sung. Cantona inside the box, brilliant. last second tackle by virgil van dijk did not let cantona release the shot or else that could have been 
a goal and that's not the type of control you see from R9. But uh, this game has been pretty weird with regards to first touches, with regards to balance, with regards to agility. And only time will tell if there is anything else that's going to happen. But we have the African Prince Samuel Eto in the house. He's on the field right now. Can he create some magic? Bellingham loses it. Park Ji Sung. Cantona is onside. Oh my goodness, he is not onside luckily. And he had a pass open to Cristiano Ronaldo. And by millimeters, I'm assuming, that was offside. And that was something that was much needed for Team India. Last 10 minutes of the game, Rafael Leao running in. Park Ji Sung plays it to Valverde, plays it to Cristiano Ronaldo, who does not have an angle for now to shoot. And the ball has been taken away from him. Ruud Hullet plays it to R9. Alfonso Davies has Mbappe in front of him. Fine skill in Mbappe. Does not have a lot of options, but still manages to find a way through. Who is he going to find now? Bellingham to Hullet. To Samuel Eto, who's not got the ball in the back of the net from a very golden area from which we would have expected him to score and become that super sub for Team India. Park Ji Sung winning the ball back. It's now or never in this game for both these teams. 1-1 one, one is the score. Two in-game minutes left. Hong Kong playing it smart once again. Knowing they need to keep the ball to get the final attack. Because if they attack now, there is a chance for a counter and there is a chance for Team India to attack. They're trying to get the ball, but they're just not able to get near these Hong Kong players who are going to get the last chance. And with only one minute left in this game, that means Team India's chances of winning this one are over and Hong Kong can make that even worse. That's going to be the end of the game for Team India. 1-1 one, one, once again. Not something you would have expected against Team Hong Kong. The bottom of the table, these drop points may hurt Team India in the long run. But right now, Team India finishing it off with a draw and with one point that means the first two games they played for the day have only gotten us two points which may not be ideal considering that singapore can create a massive gap between first and second because as things stand india will be on 16 points and singapore were on 17 without even going ahead with the game but uh, this is going to be a great start uh, to the day and we still have four more games left the next game is against singapore at four o'clock before we go into the break we're going to be talking about uh, the points table and the fixtures once again and uh, one one against korea republic one one against hong kong not the ideal situation but four more games left 12 points to be won and it's still a chance for team india based on the other results as well to still end day two and to end match week one as the toppers of division one i think mathematically india need just three more points to make sure that they are surviving in division one but it's going to be more than that we're still waiting for the updated results and the updated tables right now this was before the game against hong kong singapore with 17 india with 15 which is now going to be 16 malaysia with 13 indonesia 7 Japan 7, Korea 7 and Hong Kong at 1. We will be back very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Do not go away. It's going to be time for a very quick break. The next game, of course, India versus Singapore is going to be scheduled at 4 o'clock. We will see you in like 30 minutes. So do not go away and I'll see you on the other side.
Thank you so much, everyone, for your patience and welcome in again to the FIFA E Nations Plains 2023, day two of match week one, where India had a total of six games to be played, out of which two have been played and four are still remaining. We've not had the best start to the day, if I can be honest, but we can be optimistic about the remaining four games that we've had and still go on to produce what we did yesterday. Uh, we're just going to be talking about the fixtures and the points table and a lot of things to be discussed. The next match, of course, is going to be India versus Singapore. The match of the day, the table topping game, the match that can change everything once again in Team India's favour as well. And without wasting any further time, I think let's just take a look at the fixtures and the results for today's day, uh, which have been absolutely incredible with regards to how things have turned out to be. And India won, Korea Republic won, Hong Kong won, India won. I mean, you can sense the disappointment in my voice. But uh, let's be very honest, Team India gave everything that they had playing on neutral servers against two top countries who did not have the best of day one. But then I'm sure that has set them up and motivated them for a better day two. And Team India, with all to play for, with four games left, they can still go ahead and get 12 points from those four games. But as things stand, Singapore right now running away with it. Uh, eight games played, 20 points in total. Team India, eight games played, 16 points in total. Malaysia, eight games played, 13 points in total. Indonesia, nine games played and 13 points in total. Japan, nine games played, 10 points in total. Korea and Hong Kong at the bottom, seven and two points respectively. Just to let you guys know, the top four teams remain in Division 1 and the next three, that's the bottom three teams, will be relegated to Division 2. This thing on your screen right now is Division 1. Based on the finish, you also get consistency points, which I will explain in, I mean, which I'll explain later on throughout this, when this is going on, considering that we will have to wait for more match weeks for the consistency points to kick in. But basically, we need to finish as high as possible in order to get the most of those points. But right now, India's aim is going to be to close that gap. Also, I'm so sorry. Singapore have lost a game. That means they played nine games and they are at 20 points. I just noticed India has played eight games and they are on 16 points, which means that if India beats Singapore, they'll be on 19 points and they'll have another game to hopefully dethrone Singapore from the top. That means if India wins all four games, out of which one of the games is versus Singapore, India will go top of the table ending match week one as Division 1 champions. And that's something which uh, should be a very motivating factor for all of us right now. And coming up, as you can see, is Singapore versus India. Uh, in the meanwhile, before the game starts, which should be anytime soon, let's just take a look at the squads that these two teams have. Uh, Singapore and India both, of course, will have a great, great and great squad. And I think we will start first with Team India. Team India's squad, of course, uh, as you can see, you've seen these players multiple times. Ronaldo, Ruud Hulit, Kylian Mbappe, Johan Cruyff, Christopher Nkunku, Virgil van Dijk, Johan Capdevilla. These make the key players and the drafted players. And of course, the open pool players, Cristiano Ronaldo, Federico Valverde, Jude Bellingham, Militao, Hakimi, Donnarumma, Alfonso Davies, Renato Sanchez, Jules Conde, Carvalho, Alisson, Eto, Leao, Sergio Ramos, Roberto Carlos, Marquinhos, and that's the one which completes the list. Let's take a look at Team Singapore's squad, uh, who are still trying to set up to get this game ready, which is why we have a slight delay for the same. But Team Singapore in-game squad consists of Ronaldo, Ruud Hullet, and Pele as their key players. Drafted players include Eusebio, Zidane, Rudiger, and Kyle Walker. Of course, four great players. Open pool players, similar to Team India, and some different names as well are there, including Koulibaly, Roberto Carlos, Antoine Griezmann, Marquinhos is there for us as well, Frankie De Jong, Garincha, Jung Min Song, Edison, and Edwin van der Sar. It's going to be something brilliant for sure. And I'm just going to tell you what the difference is between these players. Key players are all those teams who chose these players before the draft procedure and they can have these players in their team. Basically, each team wanted to have three players they needed in their team at any cost and that, in this case, are Ronaldo, Hullet and Pele. Drafted players were the ones who are exclusively playing only with a particular team and that, of course, is Team India and Team Singapore right now. And open pool players, of course, 
the ones who could not make it to the key players or the drafted players are in the open pool eligible for everyone to be able to compete and to play with them is still in a little bit of delay when it comes to Singapore who are trying to set up for this game. The game is going to start anytime soon. In the meanwhile, make sure that you get your supports, uh, that you get your energy, your enthusiasm and everything high. We need a lot of energy going into this one. A win here for Team India is going to put them in the driving seat to qualify from Division 1. I mean, uh, to go ahead and finish match week 1 as Division 1 table toppers. And that's something that everybody would love. Four games still left, including the big game against Singapore. And all to play for for both these teams. Of course, Singapore right now are going to be playing in a little pressure, knowing that Team India can cast them at the top of the table. A win here for Singapore would almost guarantee them a place at the top of the table at the end of the day. But it's going to be crazy. The game is almost about to be start, about to start. Uh, just make sure that you get your friends uh, to get in this game in the meanwhile. In case you also wish to be a part of the Team India qualifiers when it comes to the monthly or the quarterly qualifiers that they have for FIFA, you can follow Team India on Instagram via Indian Football. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, make sure to follow us on Twitch if you're watching us on Twitch right now. This is a two versus two tournament for the FIFA E Nations, uh, which is similar to the World Cup that we have, but we have uh, a qualifier. Just like you have for the World Cup with regards to your region. This is the Asia Oceania region in which you have 16 countries right now. I'm sorry, not 16, but a little somewhere close to 16 countries with seven of them in Division 1 and the rest of them in Division 2. Some top countries as well. And we're going to be going into the gameplay very soon. Be here, do not go away because we'll be back with the live action between Singapore and India anytime.
and we are headed directly into the game between Singapore and Team India. I'm getting the news that this game is on the away Singapore server who are playing in that blue kit. India, of course, playing again in the red kit that we have. Amran Ghani and Kun once again for Singapore, the same players that played against Team India yesterday in possibly what was the game of the day and one of the best FIFA games that you would have seen for a while considering that it had goals, it had equalizers and it had two late goals and Team India of course are going to have a little disadvantage when it comes to the server but then if Singapore can hold India to a draw on their away server, India of course has the capabilities to defeat Team Singapore on their away server or on their home server as well. So now it's down to Team India, it's everything in our hands considering that Singapore has lost a game in this tournament and in this uh, match week which means if India do win this one they will have a chance to go top of the table after winning the next game but right now the focus is on India versus Singapore the guys who of course are leading the table currently but here goes Team India with an intention of changing that Team India have only scored one goal each in their matches today and uh, considering the amount of scores that they scored, uh, the goals that they scored yesterday, they would be a little uh, disappointed with themselves. It's Charan Jodh Singh and Saran Jain who are playing once again. And uh, Team India playing uh, with uh, the same squad once again. The three key players, the four drafted players, and uh, there's no change in formation. There is no change in lineups. There is no change in anything whatsoever. They're sticking to their game plan and they will want to dictate terms here looking for a free player for the throw in out here Valverde cannot find a free player loses the ball out to Pele who is running in at the plank has R9 waiting tries to find R9 but Hakimi is the one who is going to deal with this one plays it to Militao back to Hakimi Virgil van Dijk Hakimi under pressure from Singapore players brilliant switch to Cap de Villa to hull it. Now Johan Cruyff has Mbappe, has R9. R9 gets the ball back and tries to find Cruyff, who does find him, but well defended by Walker out there, making sure that Cruyff did not just run away from the defense. Singapore still lead in case if this ends up to be a draw, it will still be a big result for Singapore, of course considering that they will be on 21 points after 10 games and India would be on 17 after 8 games and even if they win the next one, they will be on 20. But both these teams, of course, know how unpredictable things can be in this game of FIFA. That's not a foul and India still have the ball with them. Here's uh, Mbappe who has some options. But right now, things just not working out in Team India's favour with regards to their gameplay. Eusebio can punish Team India if uh, he is not being dealt with correctly. But Team India right now do have an option. And they look a little more confident than they did against Korea Republic or Hong Kong when it came to creating chances. But they're playing with fire out here once again. And playing a lot near the Singapore goal with uh, all the Singapore players pressing and that is uh, not the best decision of course comes down to a lot of delay considering that this time we are the ones who are playing on the away server uh, they've played two games on the neutral server and this is the first game that we have today on the away server Zinedine Zidane for Singapore Rude Hullet Zidane plays it to R9 who has Pele who is offside though and the ball is going to be back with Team India who did not look like they were going to win the ball back with the Team Singapore just uh, playing the ball around them and luckily Pele was caught offside. There's a good uh, ambitious ball out here hoping for Cap de Villa's run but uh, Kyle Walker too quick in real, too quick in FIFA and too easily for too easy for him to just go and get that ball before Cap de Villa and now Valverde has won the ball back for Team India. Hakimi plays it out wide to Cap de Villa, who cannot find a pass through but does get the ball back. Christopher Nkunku has the ball now. Plays it to R9. Cruyff, R9 again. Hullet. 
Cruyff under pressure from Team Singapore. They're just double teaming each and every player from Team India in attack. And it's making life very difficult. It looks like Singapore are playing with like 15 players right now, considering how many people they have behind and how many people they have in attack as well. But uh, Team India, of course, can find a way through with patience, with the right build-up. And uh, they have to be careful that they do not leave themselves open for a counter. Because last time out, they conceded two wire counters against Singapore. And now is the opportunity. Mbappe is inside the box, but that's going to fall to our nine. But Edison collects it neatly and makes sure that there is no danger for Singapore. And nothing for them to worry about. But uh, India, that's good sign from them. Good intent. Trying to win the ball high up the pitch. And then attacking and not stopping until... The ball was collected by the keeper. Here's Pele though for Singapore, who can take a shot from here. But Hullet has stuck to him like a shadow and took the ball away, making sure that Team India has the ball back. Hullet, of course, known for his work rate in this FIFA game, the FIFA Ultimate Team format, of course. And that's a beautifully played through ball towards Valverde, who has some players in the box. Singapore now a little under pressure with regards to panic. That's going to be the first goal for sure. A little luck out there. But we take what comes to us. Mbappe had the ball. It fell to R9 after a collision for Mbappe. And R9 in that position was never going to miss. Much needed goal just before the halftime break. Need to protect this lead going into the halftime break. And that is a big, big, big goal. And I think one more thing the Team India wants to do is they've not scored two goals in a game today. And they would like to change that. And what better, to, what better team to change it against than the table topper Singapore. Of course, this puts Singapore also in a lot of pressure as well, considering that they will think that they would not want to go down from that table just like they did yesterday. And here they go, trying to get a goal back. This is going to be the last attack for sure. One more back pass would kill this. Zidane is not going to pass it back, is it? He passes it back and that's a brilliant release. But that's some good defending by Team India, who almost gave away the ball. Because uh, we were trying to get the ball out, but it hit Valverde. But at the end of the first half, the score is FIFA E Singapore 0, FIFA E India 1. Which means we are 45 minutes away from closing the gap at the top of the table to just one point with one more game in hand. And that is something that's going to make a crucial, crucial impact in the long run. Just to let you guys know, this is match week 1, game day 2. We have three more match weeks in total. I mean, three match weeks in total and the team that will be on top after three match weeks will automatically qualify for the playoffs. The second team to qualify from our region will qualify based on the consistency points after these three match weeks. So India, of course, has to finish as high as possible in every match week to get the highest number of points and also the highest number of consistency points. But Team Singapore coming all out in the second half. Team India, no escape route for them, cannot get the ball away. Winning the ball, but this time need to protect it better. Virgil van Dijk, Hakimi, Militao plays it to Hullet. Look at the press out there by Singapore who have absolutely targeted Team India's DMs and that can be very fatal because Team India cannot be losing the ball there. Walker goes wide. Goes behind her actually and then goes wide. It's a good ball that's going to be offside for sure if he gets the ball. But well dealt with by Team India regardless. Cruyff goes wide now towards Cap De Villa. Has Mbappe on the line. But Walker was prepared for that through ball. And he somehow manages to cut it short. And Team India not with the best decision making when it comes to throw is They're giving away the balls very easily. This is not the first time that has happened in the game. They've had three players waiting. But they've chosen the wrong option and hopefully this does not come back to bite them. But right now it looks like it will not come back to bite them because Team India has the ball again and R9 is away in a very nice fashion. Cap De Villa knows R9 is there again who somehow still gets the ball. Mbappe is onside, is going to try and find Nkuku waiting, Cruyff waiting as well. Takes the shot and scores the goal. Johan Cruyff made a goal out of nothing. This is what India needed, the second goal in this game. It looked like there was no angle. 
But Johan Cruyff found an angle out there from nowhere. And Edison cannot believe what has just happened. What a goal this is. I mean, this was not really the best play that India has. But they got the ball out there to R9. Who played it to Captivia, who played it back to R9, who played it to Mbappe, who looked for Nkunku. And then found Cruyff. And between three players and the goal, he somehow found the space to put the ball in the back of the net. And that means it's now a lot of pressure on Team Singapore. And what India needed was to score two goals today and to hold on to that lead. And that's what they've done right now in this game versus Singapore. We still have some more time in this game. A lot of things can change. But Team India on the away server are leading Singapore by two goals to nil with a chance of going top of the table if they continue this score line and if they continue the streak what a tackle that is out there but not the best pass alfonso davies is going to take the throw in for singapore has hullet waiting gets the ball to hullet gets the ball back gets the ball back to hullet and now it's team india who are putting the pressure look at r9 making the run and that's a good offside trap i'm assuming which is played well attempted by Kroev, but cannot get the ball away r9 once again also has r9 in defense Pull it in defense to Eusebio. Pull it. Loses the ball to R9. That's going to be a foul, I think. It's not going to be a card, but that's a foul. And that's not the best position to concede a free kick in. We conceded the fourth goal against Singapore via a free kick, which was a similar routine, which was buried in by Rude Hullet. And they have a different routine this time. Eusebio has been blocked. R9 tries to take the shot. It's blocked and comfortably collected by Donnarumma. My goodness me, imagine the amount of pressure that Charan Jodhan Saranj and the other E-Tigers are playing with. They're just not playing for themselves, they're playing for me, they're playing for you, they're playing for their entire country. And they know they have everything to make us proud. And here is R9 who may have taken the shot, but the delay is the thing that may have caused them to make that extra pass, which unfortunately after a second... They, I mean, after a second, they realized that would have not been needed because R9 was through on goal. But regardless, it's done now and I'm sure they're not going to repeat the mistake again. A 3-0 scoreline out here would be epic for Team India. Considering the 2-0 in FIFA is never safe and that would have been any, I mean, a goal. But what a save out wide, outstretched on Aruma. Making sure that the ball was never gonna land in the back of the net that's not gonna be a is that gonna be foul it is a foul 20 game minutes left including stoppage time two goals lead two goal lead is what we have right now and team india looking for a third one looking to make sure that they don't allow team singapore to even get a sight of goal but team singapore are gonna put all the pressure in the world right now constant pressure team press and every tactic is going to be applied. Of course, they have nothing to lose out here. But they know they do not want Team India to overtake them in that points table when it comes to match week one at least. Team Singapore now with the ball. 15 in-game minutes left. R9. Hakimi now for Team India. My goodness, this is a brilliant game that's happening right now. And... Do we have another goal in this one? Do we have more goals in this one? As of now, I do not really know. But if there are any goals, I would want them to be in the favour of Team India. And they've lost the ball out here. They've conceded a goal thanks to a cross today. Actually, they've conceded both goals because of crosses. And Garenja takes a shot and hits the post. And it's landed in the back of the net. Ten more minutes left. Wasting no time, Singapore. Sometimes you need luck in your favour. And every time the ball hits the post, it comes down to luck if the ball is going to go back, if the ball is going to be inside the back of the net or if the ball is going to be out. And right now for Singapore, luck was in their favour. It's 2-1 now. Team India still have the lead. And if things still stay this way, they will win the game in all three points. And Singapore, Ronaldo, oh, Cruyff going for the unthinkable beyond imagination out there from a very narrow angle from a very off balance position and now singapore look at them attack eusebio pele 
Eusebio has space again. But Holit stands like a wall but cannot clear the ball away. R9 inside the box. Has an option to pass. Chooses it to. Gives the ball to Pele. Who puts the ball in the back of the net. And it's 2-2 two -two just like that. Five in-game minutes left including stoppage time. And Singapore have equalized. It's a big, big, big equalizer for them. Considering what it means at the top of the table. Team India will have another chance. Will have another go at the goal. Will still have a shot at redemption. And here we go. Team India now with the ball. One last attack. Singapore, of course, for sure have gone all defensive. They know they're not going to get the ball. And they know they do not really need the ball because a draw would do for them. But for Team India, if they want to finish top of the Division 1 at the end of Match Week 1, they need those three points out here. And Singapore have got the ball and this can be... Difficult for Team India. It is going to be difficult for Team India because Singapore have ended the game with a draw. A third consecutive draw for Team India today. Not the result a lot of us would have expected. But it is what it is. We're still proud of our E-Tigers who've given their best. But under pressure on an away server to get a draw is a great result. And now, to finish top, India will have to win in all three games. And they will also need Singapore to drop points in their next few games. This was a brilliant goal out there. Look at that. There was no space whatsoever. But Team India still managed to get and make space out of nothing. But still the situation is that Team India, of course, have not won this game. And let's just see how things go with regards to this tournament. We'll be having the updated table and the updated results very shortly in front of us as well. But uh, not the ideal start for Team India on day two of the PPI Nations Plains uh, match week one for the 2023 season. Just to let you guys know, this is not a knockout tournament. This is not a knockout division. India look to be comfortable with regards to qualifying for the next phase with division one which will be played in january but as things stand india would love to end day two and end match week one as table toppers but now with singapore having two more games to play we will be dependent on what singapore's results are in those two games and india nothing less than three wins are going to do for them in case if they want to finish top off the table in division one today uh a little disappointed right now but we can still be proud of them uh three points of course as they say, something is better than nothing all of these could have been defeats for team india but uh, three points are better than zero points and those three points can come in crucial at the end of the day we still have three more games left indonesia versus india is the next game which will be at 4 40 pm and we're just going to be seeing how the camp is feeling right now with regards to these games. If there are going to be any changes with the players, if there are going to be any changes with their play styles, uh, with regards to the servers, what's happening, who's going to be playing for Indonesia, the squad of Indonesia and the squad of India. We will be back very soon. Do not go away. We'll be back in the next 10 minutes for the next big game, Indonesia versus India.
Welcome back once again to day two of the match week one of the FIFA e Nations play in 2023. Team India out of the six games have played three and they're still remaining with three games. The first game against Korea Republic ended in a 1 1 draw, again against Hong Kong in a 1 1 draw, and the last game that we had before the break against Singapore ended in a 2 2 draw. We still have three more games to play against Indonesia, Japan, and Malaysia, and it's going to be an absolutely crazy end to the day. As things stand, Team India are still in the driving seat to finish first in the table because Singapore have played 10 and are on 21 points, which means they have two more games left to play with Team India. But three more games left to play are on 17 points after nine games. Malaysia have played nine and are at 16 points. Indonesia have played 10 and are at 16 points. Japan at 13 points in that fifth position with Korea Republic seven points in the ninth, in the sixth position and Hong Kong in the seventh position with two points. So it looks like Korea and uh, Hong Kong are certainly on their way to be relegated to Division 2. And who is going to be the third team who's going to join them? It can be either. I mean, right now it can be anybody for sure. Team India still needs uh, one win to guarantee that they will not be under that relegation zone. And three more wins with a loss for Singapore would mean India can go on top of the table as well, but up next, our game is against uh, Indonesia. But first, we look at the squad for Team India. Ronaldo, Rude Hulit, Kiran Mbappe are the key players that were selected by us at the start of the tournament, the three key players. And then we had drafted players who were eligible to play only for Team India. Cruyff, Nkunku, Van Dijk, Cap de Villa. Along with them, we have a lot of open pool players, of course, which you can see on your screen right now. Indonesia versus India is going to be on the away server. And it's going to be GBX, XE, and IKTUT, JNR uh, for Indonesia will be representing them. Let's take a look at the squad for Indonesia as well. Uh, the key players include Ronaldo, Hullet, and Lucio, the Brazilian defender. Marchisio, uh, David Ginola, Lionel Messi, and Cafu, of course, are the drafted players. And the open pool players in front of you. Looking at that amazing talent that they have. Neuer, Donnarumma, Militao, Marquinhos, Davies. Hernandez, Hakimi, Mendes, Bellingham, Valverde, Matthias, Garincha, Liao, Ronaldinho, Griezmann and Gomez. That's a big list that we have in for Indonesia. The next game, of course, is going to kick off in the next few minutes. We're almost ready and we're almost good to go. Make sure to let me know your predictions in the chat for this game. They've not had the best starts, but it's not the worst start either, considering that we've that we're still unbeaten and that we still got three points from those games. And we're still in the run to finish on top. Just to let you guys know, this is match week one. There are going to be two more match weeks, one in January and one in March. And at the end of the three match weeks, the team which will be at the top of Division 1 will qualify for the playoffs till the next stage. And the team which has the most consistency points will qualify as the second team. But right now, we're up underway. It's a Team India who are playing in the white kit this time. And Indonesia are playing in the red kit. Here is Lionel Messi for Team Indonesia. Last time round, yesterday, it was a draw for Team Indonesia and India when they played on the Indian server. So Team India, of course, would be looking to take revenge for the same. And, oh, that's a big ball out here, but that's going to be offside for sure. And also... The turning point for Team Indonesia in the tournament was the draw that they got against Team India because before that, they had actually not won any game and the point against Team India, of course, proved out to be a very well-earned point and which helped them to go on to win some more games and start Day 2 in a very good way as well. And here they are looking to capitalise and make that Day 2 start even better. That long ball played towards David Ginola who now would be looking to score some goals for Indonesia. I think yesterday it was uh, Ronaldinho who scored the goal for Indonesia. A beautiful one right at the end. Here goes Valverde for Team India. Hullet has options. One of them is Mbappe. Back to Hullet. Ronaldinho now plays the ball to Ronaldo. The R9 phenomenon as he is known. And he's tried something very different with regards to his play style. And it has not paid off, uh, is what I can say. Valverde now on the right wing. India, of course, playing ultra-attacking at the start with five defenders who play like wing-backs, making them as two wingers as well whenever needed. And Cruyff now 
has no options whatsoever apart from going back to Valverde who has some options at the edge of the box. Here's Nkunku has Hullet, also has Mbappe who is onside. Oh no, he's offside unfortunately. The official on the far side, the linesman, has raised his flag. And ball back now with Indonesia who are going to be looking at going ahead of India of course in the table if they actually go ahead and win this game and what a turnaround that could be but here goes team India here goes Mbappe a clear chance but uh, well anticipated and well defended by team Indonesia who know how crucial conceding an early goal against team India could have been and team India of course would be furious that they did not convert that chance it was as clear as it gets but again, they're playing on the away server. It's not going to be as smooth as you think with regards to the connection. And not giving an excuse, but the ones who play are the ones who know how difficult it is. Especially considering that it is two versus two. That means there are four people playing from four different parts of the world. And even if they are together, there are like you know two different parts of the world that you play against. And it's going to be a little difficult because it's not going to be as quick as they expect or as quick as you expect right now. But here goes Christopher Nkou who plays it to Captivia who's played a beautiful ball to Cruyff. But that first touch let him down and that could not really do anything with it. Now here goes Nkou who's got the ball, plays it to R9. Luck favours R9 right now and that is uh, being taken away from Team India. Good defence are there by Indonesia who look to be a little shaky because India have come out all guns blazing who know the importance of this win to keep the pressure on Singapore because I'm sure Singapore are watching the Indian results as well. They've played a game extra and they know how difficult it's going to be but here go Indonesia. They have a chance to take the lead. That's a big save by Don Ruma. The shot was low and Don Ruma was well prepared dived properly and made sure that the ball was hammered away and that's going to be a free kick now for team indonesia who now have the ball in a very dangerous position from this free kick and it's messi who's standing over it i still remember messi scoring a direct free kick from here against atletico madrid in 2012 this time he's not going to go direct for sure and he cannot find any of his Indonesian teammates right now and Team India can actually counter from your here. here is R9 gets the ball back luckily once again but loses it to Ronaldinho who has a 1-2 and still keeps the ball with him Jude Bellingham, Lucio, Cafu Alfonso Davies will now have the ball for Indonesia you can clearly see their game plan. They want to put in those crosses or those locked through walls from the wings and the center towards a player who's making a run. Here go Team India once again on the ball. Cap de Villa now. It's going to be a big test for India considering that Indonesia are not allowing any space whatsoever and every opportunity that they get even if it's a half chance they have to make the most of it and they have to convert it if they need to have any chance of finishing first at the end of the day Cafu finding Hullet who beautifully finds R9 who is going to chip this one but I think Donnarumma is going to get there but the ball is away from goal and that's going to be a goal kick and that's a sigh of relief for all of us watching out there. Cap de Villa now for Team India. Hakimi. Mbappe. Has options. Chooses the right option with Valverde who still has the ball but cannot find a way through. Bellingham is there to intercept it. Ginola now plays it out wide to Messi. 3 versus 3 situation. Is becoming 4 versus 3. Is becoming 7 versus 3. And now it's going to be a little difficult for Team Indonesia to get anything from this one that's going to be the end of the first half and it's one i mean the first half and it's zero zero right now and
it's gonna be a cracking second half for sure. We'll be back once the second half resumes. And we are underway with the second half. India this time with the kickoff. They've tried some kickoff uh, techniques uh, previously and yesterday as well. One of them almost paid off, but they're not uh, going with anything right now at least. They know one goal would be enough for them to put a lot of pressure on Indonesia and. Uh, a one goal victory will do as well considering the goal difference that we are counting and we will take a look at Singapore's goal difference as well but regardless if India has to finish top Singapore will have to drop points in their remaining two fixtures and India will have to win all their three as well here's in Kunku plays it to Valverde who has options in the box does not go for the cross trying to cut open this defence team India not going for anything that they have not practiced they are trying everything to maybe just maybe find that one opportunity that one glimpse of goal to somehow be in a dangerous position and then they are going to trust their instinct they are going to trust their potential they are going to trust their capabilities to finish that chance off Nkuku now plays it down wide. Here is Kylian Mbappe who is trying to run at Lucio who comes in with a big tackle. A second late and Kylian Mbappe would have been through on goal with R9 waiting for a tap in or waiting for a cutback. And now how the time has changed because here is Davies who could have played the ball in through. But Davis again with the ball, so you can see the amount of pressure that is uh, there on these players with regards to the game press, of course, uh, Indonesia. They know they're playing on a preferred server, which is going to be useful for them. And Team India, of course, on the away server right now. The ball has been lost and it's going to be an Indian throw-in. Cap De Villa now with the ball, has the right option in Militao, chooses the right option in Militao and gets the ball back. Plays it in the center towards Hakimi. Hullet coming under pressure from the Indonesian players. Hullet once again back into position. Plays it to R9. Hullet. Mbappe is waiting, but there was Ronaldinho who's got the ball now. And it looks like India will have to do something special. Pull out a special rabbit out of the hat. Possibly come up with a very good magic trick. If they need a goal out here, considering that they are just not able to attack and they are just not able to break that defence. But Hullet has won the ball back and lost it again. But Militao is going to make sure the ball is safe with Team India. Ronaldo, Cap de Villa. There is an option in the centre. They have chosen the option and Kuku has a little space. He's going to take a shot. That's a big save by Manuel Neuer. Who denied India multiple times in the last game. I remember he saved seven shots. Ended up conceding one. But that was not enough for India to get those three points. And right now he's made a big save to his right. To make sure that India does not take the lead in this game. Changes being made. Tactics being changed. Players being changed. Maybe formations being changed. Both teams looking for a win. Both teams looking to go top of the table. And also looking to finish as high as possible. Of course, for Indonesia, there's nothing to lose. They were almost in the relegation zone at one point yesterday. But right now, they are up there trying to compete for the top spot. If all things go their way with regards to their results. But here, our team India, Kroyev now, easily with a cut. That's going to be a big chance. Is that going to be a goal? It is going to be a goal. Does not matter how the ball goes in. What matters is, the ball is in the back of the net. There was a slight fortune behind that goal. But then fortune favours the brave. You have to give those 
goals to the team that tries for sure and team india have been trying throughout this game and finally the resilience and finally that line of defense of indonesia has been broken by a set piece and by a very crucial rebound but here they go on the attack directly indonesia trying to make sure that they make the most of the kick off and get the ball in india's net but team india can now breathe a sigh of relief and continue towards scoring possibly another goal and killing this game off or just holding the ball and making sure that they did not get under pressure from indonesia mbappe inside the box well defended by hulit throw into india but that's going to be another change and for sure it's going to be indonesia who are going to go all out now looking to get that goal and it's going to be pretty crazy for sure indonesia of course a great team they've shown it in this tournament they were i think uh, at a stage where they had lost or drawn three games in a row but then they went on and they are now in the top four and india of course know how good the potential is of this indonesian squad and there is a reason they are playing in division 1 and they're going to give them the highest number of respect but along with that they're going to try and make sure that they go ahead and win this game to give themselves a slim chance of qualifying i'm sorry of finishing first today after match week 1 few more seconds left for the game to start let's see what other changes that will be made let's see what pressure do indonesia come up with as soon as the game starts again of course you would know the team india would like to make sure that the entire pause is being utilized as well the time does not get added into injury time but it does help you relax a bit focus regroup and get your game right let's see what action plan do india execute now they've gone defensive and that means it's going to be a four man defense now with four people in the midfield to hold the ball here's rafael leo in the box plays it back to mbappe who has some space who takes a shot but that's not going to be on target and i think that's a goal kick it is a goal kick unfortunately not the best mbappe shot for the moment but there is still that 1-0 lead with 15 in game minutes in total including stoppage time to play and looks like there have been some changes that indonesia have made as well with regards to formation with regards to their instructions hakimi versus davies right now the winner is davies and hakimi wins the ball back plays it to donnarumma who collects the ball comfortably with his feet and plays it to the indian e tigers mbappe and kuku has mbappe running gets him back gets the ball back from him no rush whatsoever r9 now inside the box croy was make i'm sorry that is rafael lia who was making the run and he is the one who scored the goal what an impact coming off the bench almost created a goal and this time he was not going to get an easier goal than that making sure that he got the ball got his leg on the ball and making sure that he is the one who scores the big goal to hopefully put this tie beyond team indonesia who queued a pause again let's see what they come up with once the game starts And here we go we resume the match now with Indonesia trying to get a goal back to hopefully put some pressure on team India who would be hoping that this game ends in their favor to have that chance of going into the next two games with the full momentum and now Mbappe has Hulit has a lot of options finds Hulit who has players out there One of them is Rafael Leao once again, who plays it back to Cristiano Ronaldo, who's lost, who's lost the ball to Rudhulit very cheaply out there. Antoine Griezmann is on the field as well. 
finds the ball to Papu Gomez from Argentina. Pull it. R9 takes the finesse, but that's way too over the bar and uh, absolutely comfortable for Donnarumma to just collect the ball and start the game again with a goal kick and that is uh, possession loss but okay the ball has gone out which means team india now have the ball and uh, i am not going to jinx it but regardless of that at this stage it's impossible to concede two goals if that's onside india can score the third one cristiano ronaldo thought he is offside maybe and the ball has gone away for a goal i'm uh, sorry it's gone away for a corner and the last time india got a corner you knew what happened right pull it made sure that he scored the goal i'm sure india is going to take a short corner and keep the ball with them and they do not want to be giving away any goals considering that the goal difference is going to be counted as well but they can go for another goal for sure and that's well dealt with that's going to be a big victory and that is a big 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 win for team india against indonesia team india 2 indonesia 0 which means team india has now reached 20 points in the standings with two more games to play we're going to be up and running with regards to getting that top spot hopefully depending on what happens in the Singapore game and this was the first goal of course a great header across goal big save by Manuel Neuer but then he could not keep out uh, Rude Hullet of course I think that was an even lucky thing as I see it now because Alfonso Davies was the one who hit the tackle to clear the ball I think and that hit Root Hullet and then the ball went inside the net and the second one of course a very standard goal that you've seen from Team India throughout this tournament taking the ball wide waiting for a late run inside the six yard box and Rafael Liao with possibly his third touch of the game the super sub getting the third goal right when it mattered the most but what matters the most right now is that India have got three points in the bag and one thing that was needed much honestly were these three points because that means we have our first win for the day against team indonesia a team that we played yesterday and had a 1-1 draw on the home server but right now on the away server we won 2-0 the next game is going to be india versus japan which is going to be starting in the next 10 minutes and then the final game is going to be india versus malaysia if india wins both the games and singapore drops points in any of their two games which they are playing there is a high chance that India qualify. I mean, India will finish the day with that top spot in Division One, which would also give us a lot of consistency points going into Match Week Two and Match Week Three. But right now, Singapore have played their second last game and have they've won the game. That means they're going to play one last game, and if they win that, it's going to be all over. But if they draw or if they lose, and if India win both, India can still qualify. I mean, India will still be on the top of the table but as things stand singapore 11 games with a goal difference of 10 24 points with seven wins three draws and one loss team india five wins five draws goal difference of nine one game less played of course and uh, with 20 points in total malaysia at nine games has uh, still at 16 points indonesia 11 games played 16 points one more game for them that means they are safe if oh they're not yet safe actually Japan, 10 games played, 13 points. The bottom three teams, of course, which right now are Japan, Korea, Republic and Hong Kong, would be relegated to Division 2 for match week 2 if things stay this way. Uh, we're going to be back very soon with regards to our game between Japan and India, which kicks off at 5.10pm. Do not go anywhere. Stay tuned and we'll see you on the other side.
first time tallest at the end. Are you ready for this one? Spain have a moment. We'll raise the roof in Copenhagen. Dream of moments like this. What a studio space we have. Welcome back everyone to the PPI Nations Plains 2023 match week one game day two. This is Team India squad again going into the second last game of the day against Japan. Key players Ronaldo, Rudo Litkir and Mbappe, drafted players Yuan Croy, Christopher Nkunku, Virgil van Dijk and Cap de Villa. And the open pool players of course as you can see on your screen as well. Most of these players of course have been crucial in the run for Team India in this uh, Match day one, of course, has been something incredible with regards to some of these players stepping up for Team India. Let's also take a look at the squad for Team Japan. I'm getting an update uh, that we're getting uh, this game on a neutral server. And Taiji Aoki and Sho Nakashima are going to be playing for Japan once again, who had a great display against India last time around. Key players for them, R9, Rude Hurit, Kylian Mbappe. Drafted players, Paolo Maldini, Saeed. Al Ovaran, 
Neymar, Zambrotta and the open pool players, as you can see, in front of you. Rafael Leao, Theo Hernandez, Renato Sanchez, Marquinhos, Donnarumma, Koulibaly, Van der Sar, Bellingham, Eto, Davies, Schotterback, and Neuer, Giroud, Rashford, Hakimi, Ronaldinho. So that's a great uh, amount of talent that they have in that squad, of course. Let's just take a look at the points table once again before we go in to the game. Let's just take a look at the updated points table once again. Malaysia's game has been updated as well. We're patiently waiting for that final game of Singapore, hoping that it's either a draw or a loss for them because that is the only way for India to finish first at the end of match week one. Singapore, one game left to play, 24 points. India and Malaysia, 10 games played each, 20 and 17 points for them right now. Indonesia, 11 games played, 16 points. Japan, 10 games played, 13 points. Korea Republic and Hong Kong, 10 games each in 7 and 3. They've been relegated to Division 2 for sure. Japan still hoping to qualify from, I mean, to get out of that relegation zone right now. And the battle that they have to face is Team India, of course, who are trying to go for the top spot. So it's going to be a great battle. I mean, we can say a top versus bottom in Division 1. Two quality teams, two highly esteemed FIFA playing nations, of course, with a lot of FIFA playing talent who will be playing up the next game. But it's going to be a great way to end the day for sure. We're going to be updating you about the results. We're going to be updating you about everything that happens in the game as well. And coming up next is going to be India versus Japan. Let me know your predictions in the chat. Let me know what you think about this game. How are you feeling about Team India going into this game, considering what is on the line for Team India, considering what is on the line for Team Japan. We need to see the love. We need to see the appreciation. We need to see the support. And we'll be back once the game starts. Here we go with the start of the game between Team India and Japan. I was reading your chats in the meanwhile. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the love and appreciation for the Indian E-Tigers. Believe me, they're doing everything that they can to make sure that they finish on top. And this will not be an elimination for them with regards to anything. So you all do not have to worry about that. They will give their best to make sure they are into the playoffs. It still has a long way to go. But right now, Team India is playing in the white kit. And Japan is playing in the black and they go for the shot and that is a, a well taken shot but it's only going to be a goal kick in the favour of India. Nothing to worry about. A good shot and a good intent shown by Team Japan and Team India has a wake up call right from the start. Pull it. And now the ball is inside the box with Johan Cruyff who has some space to twist and turn and could not really convert that one into the goal but Hullet has the ball again plays it out wide to Cap de Villa Hullet once again I mean by the time you talk about some other player Hullet gets the ball always and that's always been the case with Charan Jodhan Saranj Ali Tigers along with Sid and Saksham for this uh, match week one and right now the ball is with Team Japan Alfonso Davies on the far side Team India winning the ball back. There are going to be a lot of nerves on the line in this one, considering that it's a pressure situation. If Japan lose this one, they are all but 
eliminated to i mean relegated to division 2 considering that they will not be able to score more than 3 points in the last game but here is Kylian Mbappe who wants to go and score but that's not a penalty as per the referee he was clearly bought down but the referee thinks otherwise and since this is computerized we do not even have a VAR to double check that and regardless it's not a goal and that is a big opportunity and Donnarumma making sure that he was never going to get beaten with that Rivera shot and the ball back with Team India now who are going to be thinking they are unlucky to not score the first goal in this game. Here is R9, plays it towards Cruyff. Mbappe, R9. Gets cut out by Bellingham who now has the ball with Ashraf Hakimi. Bellingham plays it out by to Alfonso Davies. Now it's going to be a pretty interesting uh, choice for Japan. Do they go forward and allow India to hit them on the counter or do they wait and hit India on the counter? But right now here is R9 who's beautifully done a ball roll but I think another cutback was needed. He went for that option but had Marquinhos waiting I think to somehow to somehow keep the ball out and that's not another goal for Team India in this uh, Match week one, day two. They're still trying to see what they can do. And this time, Donnarumma for Japan is going to hold the ball with his uh, big hands. And is going to play it to his PSG teammate, Kylian Mbappe, who somehow still has control of the ball. And now look at the space in the center. Who's going to find the player. And that is a big blow to Team India. Because Allo Vairan has scored the goal. That puts Japan in front and not does he put Japan in front but he also gives them hope of staying in Division 1 going into match week 2 and it also kills a lot of hope for Team India and the E-Tigers of finishing first at the end of match week 1. We will not be relegated that's for sure. We are going to, go in, we are going to be going into match week 2 in Division 1 for sure. But the finish at the top of the table is going to come very handy when we are at the end of match week 3 because only two teams qualify for the playoffs and based on points it's best to qualify as the table toppers but right now Japan playing their best football of course we had a brilliant game versus Japan last night wherein Team India were 3-0 up and Japan scored two goals out of nowhere to make it 3-2 but Team India showed their class, showed their quality, showed their experience and held on to that 3-2 lead and did not allow any further damage after that but right now they'll be looking at creating some damage, inflicting some damage towards Team Japan because they've missed two easy opportunities and Japan have got an opportunity and they've taken it thanks to the excellence of Kylian Mbappe and uh, just to let you guys know that goal from the throw, of course, from, from the time Don Ruma collected had only four passes in total. And now, here go India again. Kylian Mbappe can get it on the attack. Is that going to be... Oh, it's actually hit the roof of the net and uh, the frame of the goal. And the ball has gone out for a goal kick, which means Japan again have the ball. And Team India know the importance of getting an equaliser, hopefully before halftime, to make things interesting and to put a little more pressure on Japan who will be preferring to play a little defensive right now. But here's Johan Cruyff cannot get past Davies who plays it to the goal scorer for Team Japan who has given a very loose ball and lost the ball at a very difficult moment for Team Japan because Team India have players out wide including Cruyff who can take a shot but cannot find a way past Davies and Valverde now Plays it to Ngugu, has Capdevilla on the far side, has Valverde, has Ngugu again. What does he do now? What do they do now? They have no way through that de Japan's defensive line. There are six defenders inside the box. Ronaldo trying to get through, but Marquinhos once again cutting Ronaldo out and not allowing him to even get a sight of goal. But Kylian Mbappe with a beautiful release towards R9 and Donnarumma is going to just 
kick that one away and Virgil van Dijk is going to resurface it for one last chance for Team India now who have to play the ball in front as early as possible. They do not have a lot of time and Cap de Villa cannot be playing the ball back. They have to do something with this attack. R9, Nkuku, R9 once again has left the ball for Mbappe who can get in the box, who is in the box and that's going to be the end of the first half just like that. Japan 1, India 0 as things stand. What a game this has been. We still have 45 in-game minutes more. Credits to Japan. They got an opportunity. They took it. And India have missed two easy chances to possibly have a chance of finishing top of the table at the end of the day. But let's see what happens in the second half. We'll be back as soon as the second half starts. And here we go with the start of the second half. Team India looking for a response. Team Japan desperately hoping to hold on to this lead that they have. But Team India have the ball once again. Dangerous position. R9 trying to wriggle in the box. Trying to find a way through. Using some simple FIFA skill moves. Which of course are very difficult to execute. But... Uh, on a neutral server even more difficult and right now it is Japan who have the ball and who look to be growing in confidence as this game progresses but on, on the ball misses it out loses it out actually and they've got the ball back with Marquinhos and that's gonna be a free kick and Ronaldinho now getting the ball without any delay from his teammates and Rafael Liao is on the pitch that means Team India would be hoping for some super sub magic from him once again. Captivia plays it to Leo. Pull it. Cannot find a way to Mbappe there in Kuku who's lost the ball. And here is Ronaldo. Pull it. These are going to be some crucial times for Team India. Considering that conceding another goal at this point is going to make it very difficult for them to make a comeback and it's going to be very difficult for them to even have a chance of uh, going top of the table. But here's Hullet right now. R9. Plays it to Liao. Liao is inside the box now. There are options. But that's been well cut by Marquinhos who made himself big and did not allow... Rafael Liao to find any target whatsoever. Hakimi plays it back all the way to Donnarumma. Japan still with the ball and India putting all the pressure in the world. They know they can do this. They believe they can do this. We believe in them. They are going to be trying everything possible. They have not looked on par when it comes to their attack today. And they know what... They have to improve on at the end of the day and they know what they can do right when this game is on. Hullet plays it to Ronaldo, gets the ball back. Ronaldo plays it to Nkunku. Has Hullet making the run but has nobody else in support. And the ball has been easily collected by Donnarumma for Team Japan who plays the ball out wide beautifully. Finding a player and now here is Ronaldo who's running against Team India but... Now Team India with the ball back. Virgil van Dijk was the one who got the ball back for Team India. And now, here goes Johan Cruyff. Hakimi. Hakimi once again can find a cross inside the box. They're not crossing at all Team India. 
And I think the opponents have now figured out that they don't really have to mark a player in the box when there will be no cross coming in. But as things stand, Team India is still looking for a response. Still in search of that equaliser and still in search for those three points, for those crucial three points that can be very, very, very helpful in the long run with regards to qualifying for the FIFA E-Nations Grand Finale. The date, the timings, the location, nothing has been set. But with over 100 countries playing, only 24, including one host nation, would make it through to the Grand Finale. Of course, there'll be European powerhouses, there'll be South American powerhouses, and you can expect the best players in the world representing their countries in a two versus two format playing that tournament. But right now, we are in the Asia and Oceania region, the first uh, match week, the second day of the same. Team India also looking to maintain that unbeaten run that they have in this Division 1. They're the only team right now who do not have, who have not been defeated. And I'm hoping that they can somehow turn this deficit against Japan and make that 2-1 or a 3-1 if needed and get that top spot somehow from Team Singapore. But right now, Japan with the ball once again. Davies plays it to Hullet. Mbappe. Neymar Jr. is on the field as well and that is not a player you would like to see when your team is one nil down and he is possibly going to be a big threat down that left-hand side for Team Japan. And now Team India with the ball. Hakimi plays it to Nkuku. Cruyff has Liao out there. So we've gone for an attack. Oh, sorry, that's Davies out there. And now Rafael Liao for Team Japan has a lot of runners. One of them is Kylian Mbappe. And he also has a runner on the far side. But he can take a shot himself if needed. He finds a player in the centre. But somehow Team India have managed to get a foot on that ball and to stop that Japanese attack. And here goes Davies, plays it to Mbappe. Davies once again can run at Hakimi. Plays it to Cruyff. Nkunku cannot find a way through Bellingham out there. But Davies has the ball back. Rude Hullet finds Rafael Lea who can take a shot somehow. Cannot find a way through Davies again. 12 in game minutes left to play. It's going to be a mad climax to this game. And it's going to be a brilliant way to wrap things up on day two. Because here goes Kylian Mbappe. Cannot find a way out. Team India putting all the pressure in the world right now. Rafael Liao plays it to R9. Valverde. Oh, sorry, that's Hakimi. <laughs> plays it to Nkuku. Hakimi once again. Team India being patient but not making the most of it. Losing out the ball very cheaply once again. And Neymar Jr. with a beautiful turn that has left a lot of space for Mbappe in the box. Mbappe gets the ball but the ball is two away and it's out of the line. And that's going to be a goal kick. And also some changes to be made now. Team India, look at that 3-4-2-1. They are playing with five attackers and they know how crucial it is to get the equalizer and to also get that winning goal somehow. Because if not the winning goal, an equalizer would mean Team India would still have a chance to finish on top if Singapore lose their last game. But that would be known only after Singapore's game is done. So let's just wait and see what changes these guys make and I'll be back as soon as the game resumes.
Okay, now here we go. The final few minutes of this game between India and Japan. India with the ball in the white kit. Pull it for Team India. Finds Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is on the field right now. Can he prove to be the difference maker? He's inside the box and he has missed the opportunity near post. He's not scored. Cristiano Ronaldo from close range has missed for Team India. And is that going to be the end of the challenge to reach the top of the table? Because a goal out there would have put us in the driving seat to possibly get an to get the winner as well. And oh my word made. This can be insult to injury but Don Ruma is off his line. And he's got the ball away to Leah who still will be looking to make that impact that he made in the last game as the super sub. Liao cannot find a way through but gets the ball back. One last chance for Team India to make something from this game. And Kuku, pull it. Ronaldo, still in the box. Cannot find a pass through. And one more minute still left. If Team India can push the ball in front somehow, they have a chance. They will have one more chance. They need to play the ball in front. And the ball has gone out. Which means Team India have not just lost the game, but also lost the chance to finish first after match week one but regardless that's a great performance so far from team india it's also the first defeat that they've suffered in match week one after 11 games played and they would count themselves a little unfortunate but credit where due japan took their chance played well when it mattered the most defended their hearts out and prevented india from scoring this is also the first match of the tournament in which India have not scored. And that means uh, they are not going to finish first at the end of day one for sure. But one good thing is that they will not be relegated either. Which means they will go into match week two. Which is in January as Division 1 players itself. Now, five games played so far. You can see the results on your screen. The first loss coming in at a very bad time. We still have another match left against Malaysia. We will also have the updated table for you guys in a while to see if there is any change and if there is any challenge to the second place for Team India considering that Japan, Malaysia Malaysia were just 3 to 6 points behind India with the same number of games played. And it's going to be crucial to see what happens now because Japan, I knew, were on 13 points after 10 games and they're now going to be on 16 points. Which means they cannot overtake Team India even if India loses the last game and Japan wins their last game. But it's going to be a big, task, a big task to see what happens between Malaysia and Indonesia. We'll be back with the updated tables and we'll be back with the, the final game of the day which is between India and Malaysia at 5.40pm. See you guys soon on the other side. Did not go away. One more game left. Let's cheer for Team India once we are back.
Welcome in one, once again to the final game of the FIFA Nation Series Plains 2023. Five games have been played today, one game left. That's the last game of the day, India versus Malaysia. We're just back from a defeat against Japan, unfortunately the first after 11 games in this qualifier that we've had in Division 1. But what an amazing run this has been from Team India. It's clear that they'll not be able to finish first. But let's see how the changes have been made with regards to the points table with one game left to play for all the teams. I am assuming Singapore, regardless, had won their game, which means even if Team India would have won the game, it would have been 20, uh, 24 points for them. So it would have not really helped a lot. But Team India and Malaysia are right now tied at 20 points. And this is the final game, which means it's like a winner-take-all game. Like, you know, winner-takes-all game. Whoever wins this game is going to finish up there in second place. And looking at how things are right now, I think there's a slight mistake because Malaysia would be top considering the goal difference because they are right now having a goal difference of 9 points of 15 points. We'll still get that double check though and we will have an update on the same. Indonesia are fourth right now with 16 points and Japan are fifth right now with 16 points. That means it's also a battle between those two nations to avoid relegation, which is for the bottom three teams in Division 1 right now, which is Japan, Korea Republic and Hong Kong. But our focus is going to be mainly on Team India and the game against Team Malaysia. And I just uh, got an update that considering that uh, if, the if the two teams are tied, the first rule is going to be head-to-head -head results. And India defeated Malaysia yesterday by two goals to one, which is why. India currently is in second place above Malaysia despite of an inferior goal difference. Which means if India go ahead and draw this game against Malaysia, as long as they avoid defeat, they are going to finish second in the Division 1 of Match Week 1 in the FIFA e Nations play in 2023. Uh, this game is going to be on Mumbai server. That means it's going to be on the Indian server. And Muzaffar Zuhair and Akmal JHD are the players who are going to be playing for Malaysia. Before the match starts, let's just see the squads for Team India and Team Malaysia. And then we can have uh, 
the live in-game footage that's going to be coming in. Once again, Team India with their key players that they chose were Ronaldo, Hullet and Mbappe. Of course, these players are available to Team India and also available to others. Drafted players only available for Team India. Johan Cruyff, Nkunku, Van Dijk and Cap Devia. You will not see them with any other team apart from Team India. And the players that did not make it in the key players and drafted players, open pool players available for every team are the ones that you can see on your screen right now. Before the game starts, let's quickly take a look at Malaysia's squad as well to just to see if there's anything interesting, anything different, anything worth talking about. Pele, Ronaldo and Hullet are their key players. No surprises there. Drafted players include Patrick Vieira, Carlos Alberto, Vinicius Jr. and Jao Cancelo. Pretty interesting choice considering that only they have these players. And open pool players, of course, have some new faces that we've not seen so far on the field, including Luis Figo, Kevin De Bruyne and Fabinho out there from Liverpool. It's going to be a great uh, encounter between these two teams, that's for sure. And uh, now knowing that the stakes are high, Malaysia know they need a win. India know they need to avoid defeat. And we are in the final game of the day. India versus Malaysia. India back with their red kit. Malaysia playing in the black kit. 90 in-game minutes away from deciding who finishes second in this group. And a way for Team India to hopefully end this on a high as well. And that's going to be a foul by Van Dijk with a shoulder tackle. And unfortunately, it's also a yellow card. But fortunately, it's not a red. Which means Malaysia can put some pressure right from get-go if they get this free kick tactic right. Donnarumma is in goal. And Malaysia are going to be just playing some mind games before they take this free kick. R9 goes directly for it, but Donnarumma was never going to get beaten on his own side. And here he is looking for some options. And Team India, of course, the first time they could not score in these two match days was against Japan in the last game. And they would be hoping that... Uh, they can break that streak right away and that's what Kylian Mbappe has in mind and that's going to be hitting the post and hits the keeper and goes out. The streak was about to end with regards to not scoring in a game. But as unlucky as you can get, the ball hit the post, the ball hit the keeper and then went out for a corner. Which means it remains at 0-0. And now here's the ball towards Hullet who rose above Griezmann but could not really control the header. And the ball is now back with Team India and Van Dijk. Plays it to Nkuku, who plays it to R9, who is going to take a shot and that's going to be a big save by Van der Sar with an outstretched right foot. Two big chances for India already. Mbappe has kept the ball in. Yes, he has kept the ball in and the ball is now back with Team India once again. Cap Devia, the drafted player. Nkuku, the drafted player. Hold it. Now has some options but has given the ball away in a very cheap manner and very unlike uh, Rude Hullet of course, Pele and R9, the two key players for uh, Team Malaysia. Captivia to Hullet, the key player for Team India. Cruyff, the drafted player. Nkunku, Vieira has lost the ball. Nkunku now has the chance to do something from this interception. Now has the ball, gives it back to Virgil van Dijk, gets the ball back. Rude Hullet has the ball. Ronaldo R9 is in the box. This time, are we going to see the first goal? Yes, we are going to see the first goal. And Team India takes the lead against Malaysia. Puts us in the driving seat to finish above Malaysia in this match week one. What a way. Third time, of course, was no denying Team India. We had no denying them. He had two chances before. We had two chances before with Mbappe and R9. Both well blocked by Van der Sar and the post. But this time, no defender, no post, no goalkeeper was going to stop that shot from R9. And we have scored the first goal. Team India scores the first goal in the very crucial game, which will determine who finishes second in this uh, Division 1 group stage behind Singapore at the end of match week 1. And now, here go Malaysia trying to get that deficit back. 2-0 by scoring the equaliser but Team India with other ideas know that they do not want to be conceding right from kickoff and the ball now with R9 who has options in the box, who has options outside the box, who has multiple options out there 
I'm not sure if he chose the right one, but they can still make that a right one by Nkuku because he can take that shot and he is going to score the second goal for Team India. A goal out of nothing. I think he was looking for Mbappe first and now it can make matters worse for Malaysia. Kroyuf is going to turn and he is going to ball roll and then score against his countryman Van der Sar. 3-0 just like that in a blink of an eye. That's the response that Team India was looking for. That's the form that Team India was looking for throughout the day. A little late, but better late than never. 3-0 in the first 23 minutes and that's going to be 3-1 just like that. R9 from a Vinicius cross. Calming celebrations down for me and for everyone watching. But still a two-goal lead that we have. And we're still into the first half of course and that can change right away. R9 now. The near post is not going to be opened but that does not matter because R9 can go far post and score the fourth goal and restore the three goal lead just like that once again brilliant attacking football by team india right from the training ground they knew what they're doing also to let you guys know we're playing on the mumbai server the indian server and you all can see the difference the server makes as well when you are playing on your home server the connection is a little better and the results are much better than what we would have thought about and here goes r9 to make it even more better is that going to be a goal it's not going to land up in the back of the net it has been cleared now and the ball is back with malaysia pele plays it to vinicius junior plays it to rude hullet and rude hullet has been shrugged off the ball by Militao. and team india with the ball once again they could have had around six goals in this first half already and out of this they've converted four of them and I do not think they want to stop anytime soon. Here's Croy who plays a beautiful ball to Nkuku who tries to find Hullet or R9 but can only find Vinicius Jr. who's now given the ball and got the ball back. Has Pele waiting. Also has some players at the wing. Chooses to go towards Griezmann who's got the ball back from Vieira. And Virgil van Dijk still on that yellow card of course. Doing that defensive work which was needed. Now here is Kylian Mbappe running, here is Freddy Valverde running and Mbappe is not going to get the ball because R9 gets it, he's gone through the defence and he's missed! Oh my goodness mate, I thought he scored the fifth goal of the game but he's put the shot wide, the ball's gone wide. Unbelievable and I hope this does not come back to haunt us because now that's the third chance that R9 has missed despite of scoring some goals for fun in this game. And... Wow, I have a feeling these boys must be thinking, oh, let me press L1, R1 and go ahead with the game and they're thinking, oh, this is not even a goal. How is that not a goal? But you can make up for it now with this attack and Militao will make sure that Carlos Alberto is going to be receiving the ball without any interference from the Indian E Tigers. And here is Vinicius Jr. to R9, two Vinicius, Pele making the run in the centre and that's going to be easily dealt with by Team India. Throw in now to Team India. One last chance for somebody in this half. Hopefully, lands up for Team India. They have Mbappe and R9 making the runs. R9 has an option in the center. I think he's gone for the wrong option. And that is going to bring us to the end of the first half. And at the end of the first half, it is Team India 4, uh, Malaysia 1. And we are going to be looking at the second half very soon. Team India, just to let you know, has to avoid defeat in this one. To finish second at the end of match week one. We'll be back with the second half very soon.
Okay, and here we go with the final half that we now have between Team India and Team Malaysia with Team India having that second place in sight now. Less than 45 in game minutes and it's going to be brilliant to see what Team India can come up with. They've possibly given their best display of this tournament, uh, of this uh, match week one of course against uh, Malaysia in the first half. And it's going to be fair to say that they don't intend on stopping because here's what Mbappe has in mind who's got inside the box who is now going to wait for Edwin van der Sar to make his movement but then he's lost the ball and the ball is now with the team Malaysia a lot of things happening out there but team India and have got the ball again R9 is he going to take a shot he is going to take a shot and this time he is not going to miss for sure 5-1 to Team India, game set and match, give us that second place in match week one, give us those consistency points that we deserve, give us that motivation to finish first going into match week two and finishing match week two at the top of the table but one good thing is that we are going to be in division one and we are not going to stop at all because that is the sixth goal that Team India has scored, the most by them in this tournament 6-1 is the lead right now 56 in game minutes and they have turned up the heat right when it was needed in a must win game they have absolutely conquered this game and conquered the Malaysian defense who are looking to respond with some goals who know that a draw will not do for them they have to win this and I'm not sure if that's onside, but if it is, it's going to be another clear chance for R9, who is going to run in, but not beat Van der Sar. But Cruyff can beat him, and he will beat him. That's 7-1 already. My goodness, made. Charan Jodhan Saranj, the E-Tigers, are out making a statement out there. They did not have the best start to the day. Three draws back-to-back. -back. One win, one loss. But they're going to end this day at their absolute best. And it's going to be crazy for sure. Here goes. Oh my goodness. They do not feel like stopping this game. And Malaysia now half the ball away finally. Ronaldinho with the ball. Loses it. But Carlos Alberto is going to get it back. Pull it. Plays it to Pele. Who will have a chance now to take a shot. He will take a shot. And he will score a goal. Because the near post was open. And 7-2 already. 24 in-game minutes left. And looking at how things are going, you cannot predict that there's not going to be another goal in this one. And here goes Griezmann already trying to make the deficit as less as possible. But Team India are not going to allow that to happen as well. And here's Vieira for Team Malaysia, Ronaldo. Griezmann. We've seen everything in this game. We've seen some great goals. We've seen some horrible and easy misses. Uh, we've seen some great defending. We've seen some uh, crucial interceptions. We've seen some great blocks. The ball has hit the post. We've seen some bloopers just like we saw there. And that's what uh, eSports can do to you. That's what FIFA can do to you. And uh, even competitive FIFA at times can be fun if both the teams are trying to attack and that's what has happened in this game at least Captivia now for Team India trying to attack and trying to score one more goal and I'm not going to talk about the 8-2 score line of course but here goes R9 inside the box goes near post but has Van der Sar waiting and they've lost the ball once again and can Team India make them pay ball is still with Team India Malaysian defenders looking like a fish Outside water right now, all over the place, trying to get near the ball. And it's just a crazy situation that nobody would have imagined. But here goes Johan Cruyff and that goes. Uh, there goes another goal. 8-2 right now, Team India. Absolute humiliation, absolute domination, absolutely 
destroying team malaysia right now all respect to malaysia of course they're a great team they were the team that we played against last season as well and it was a similar situation where team india had to win against malaysia to qualify for the finals of uh, the fifa e nations 2022 we won that game i think by three goals to one and we went through to the grand finale and once again team india turning the heat up against malaysia a victory against them yesterday by two goals to one and right now by eight goals to two and there is still there are still seven eight minutes left to be played which is enough time for india to score another goal i'm not sure if that's onside it looks to be onside it is onside and that is another goal for team india 9-2 86 minutes gone are we in for a 10th goal my goodness mate a 10th goal would be a huge blow but nothing less than what team india have deserved for some amazing display throughout this match week 1 last chance and now malaysia getting the ball back losing it once again and this is going to be a little difficult because mbappe is in now has r9 has the goal open and r9 has missed the opportunity to make it 10 it's a goal kick and that is going to be the last chance that india would have got because malaysia now are not going to give the ball away is it are they giving it away they've got the ball out and that means it's 9 to at the end of the day but what that means is team india have the best goal difference in the division they also have the most number of goals scored in the division and they're going to finish second in the division to get some good consistency points as well which i hope will be updated in the table by the time we are done with the replays but here are those goals that we saw some amazing goals especially this one by nkuku where he just took out the malaysian defenders by surprise and van der sar had no chance out there it felt like he was in no man's land out there but regardless what a great way to end the day for team india by winning that game which mattered the most we're going to be going in to match week 2 in division 1 of course once again the results for the day korea republic 1 india 1 india 1 hong kong 1 the two draws that are going to hurt a little but singapore to india 2 what a game once again india were 2-0 up until the 78th minute and then singapore showing their class and showing what a server advantage can do as well 2-2 to them indonesia versus india indonesia playing on their home server and india coming out on top with a 2-0 victory India losing unfortunately to Japan on a neutral server and then finally on the Mumbai server India versus Malaysia in an absolutely crazy encounter which nobody would have expected India 9 Malaysia 2 to, to end things up and to end the day for team India in possibly the best possible way let's just take a look at the points table in case that's updated if not we'll just uh, try and calculate the situation ourselves considering that we know india and uh, singapore have finished uh, second and first respectively let's just see what happened at the bottom of the table and we'll also try and see what happened uh, with regards to the third and fourth positions considering that indonesia japan and malaysia were all in for the game I'm just getting an update that the table has not been updated yet Uh, which means uh, we are going to be closing the day very soon but uh, thank you once again for all your support and for all the love for all the appreciation for the e tigers today's squad included charanjot singh and saransh jain of course along with saksham ratan and sir chandrana who were a part of the four man squad for match week 1 of the fifa e nations players 2023 we're going to be back with fifa e nations very soon there is going to be match week 2 where in india will be in division 1 once again and it's going to be a pretty pretty amazing uh, format out there once again considering that we'll have three new teams coming in from division 2 and india and singapore of course will be going with the maximum points and hopefully they are going to be winning india of course are going to be winning that uh, match week by ending the table by ending that day on top as well but regardless it has been a great journey six games yesterday six games today 
thank you once again everyone for your support my name is selvin and we're going to end this stream i'm going to sign off very soon but just before we go we have this one video for you and i'll see you for the next tournament